Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I appreciate each and every one of you guys, as well as you ladies, um, for all that you do uh, to make me do what I do. Um, I'm the luckiest man in the world. At least some days I feel like that because I get a chance to get up and do exactly what I enjoy. And I have always enjoyed working with wood. Um, being able to build cabinets and furniture and things. Um, I've gotten my ex carver behind me here, which has made, um, made things that I never even dreamed of being able to make. And it, it was really cool, two things that happened this weekend. Uh, my friend DMV gave me a wedding picture of his and wanted me to make it for him and his wife. Um, I made the piece for it, you know, out of pine, and we went through, cut it out and everything else. And you paint it to get the neutrals to go out, and then you sand it out. Um, I remember looking at the piece here and thinking how nice it looked. He ended up tagging me on Instagram and, and uh, Twitter with the picture. The thing that was funny to me was the detail that I didn't notice when I looked at it before. When I made the piece, I saw this, but when I looked at it this morning, all of a sudden I could pick out, looking at it from the social media picture that he put on there, I could see the chair that a guy was sitting at as the bride and the groom were walking past. There were details that popped out of me that were really kind of cool. That was great. The second thing was I've been building these butcher blocks um, that are actually over here. I've got some more that are, uh, I've got to clean out and put some more epoxy resin on them. And I'd sent one to a woman who ordered one and she was just blown away at how good it looked. And, you know, she's like, this is going to be a piece that I'm going to be loving for years and things. And so that makes me feel really, really good. And so right now I have another piece that's right here. Um, I've already carved it out. I've cut little reliefs on the back of it to help make sure the wood doesn't work when you use, um, real wood that hasn't been glued up. Sometimes it'll warp. And so this helps to relieve some of the pressure of all of the wood in here. So this is a gentleman's grandkids. You can't see it right now, but we're going to sand this out and see how it looks. Cause sometimes they come out and they look great. Other times it's kind of like, mm, I need to start all over. So let's take a look at this and see how it is. Okay. <laughs> need a battery.
Can you see it now? It's crazy to me because when I make these, when I make these, it's when you look at it up close, it's just like a little series of little bumps and hills and things like that. But when you pull it back, you see the two of them sitting there together. It, it literally blows my mind away. And these are definitely some unique pieces that, you know, um, if you've seen the picture, this is what really gets you is if you actually have seen the picture that it will just take your breath away. Um, I'll show you another one here that is actually one of my favorites. I know this is low class, you know, I'm moving around the camera and stuff, but I am just real when it comes to doing these things. This is, um, when I first did the wedding picture that I was telling you guys about, this is um, the first, it's, it's too small. I ended up making it on a bigger piece that was laminated. But I didn't notice that right here, that is a chair. And there's a gentleman sitting right there on it. So when you look at it up a little closer, I never noticed this part right there. I always just noticed John right here and the bride um, and her dress but I didn't notice the chairs that were there and the crowd behind it. And you'll see like faces in here as you look. Isn't that, isn't that wild? Isn't that wild when you start looking at it? It's kind of crazy. This one is one that I am really and truly excited about them getting. This one, I don't know if you're a cowboy fan or not, Dak Prescott and his mother. This is actually for Dak's uncle, Philip, who that's his sister right there. And I've got a cutting board that matches that's going with it. And I'm really, really proud of these things. So these are truly unique things that I do. And when people get them and, and they send me back the joy that they have from getting it to me I, I i realize i'm doing exactly what i'm supposed to be doing and um it's really a blessing to be able to do this so i hope you guys are having a great day i've got tons of stuff to do because i build these are our little joe Bardi's trophies that we do and i've got a bunch of these that i have to paint i've got some more butcher blocks over here that i've got to make out um, and stuff but this heck if i could just stay here every day and just work in this 20 by 20 space i could die a happy man i'm mark holmes and well i appreciate you guys and i hope you're having a great day doing exactly what you love to do i'll see you soon